Predict if any asymptotes or holes are present in the graph of each rational function. Use a graphing calculator to draw the graph and verify your prediction. In part A, we'll graph y equals 4x over x minus 2. Let's take a moment to learn about rational functions with a numerator degree equal to the denominator degree. To find the horizontal asymptote, use the formula y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. We also have vertical asymptotes at the non-permissible values of the rational function. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we'll use the formula y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. The leading coefficient of the numerator is 4, and the leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. The ratio is 4 over 1, which equals 4. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides of the equation to get x equals 2. There is a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Now graph the rational function using technology. The asymptotes we predicted exist on the graph. In part b, we'll graph y equals x squared over x squared minus 1. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we'll use the formula y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. The leading coefficient of the numerator is 1, and the leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. The ratio is 1 over 1, which equals 1. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x squared minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides of the equation to get x squared equals 1. Square root both sides of the equation. This gives us x equals plus minus 1. There are vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. Now graph the rational function using technology. The asymptotes we predicted exist on the graph. In part c, we'll graph y equals 3x squared over x squared plus 9. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we'll use the formula y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. The leading coefficient of the numerator is 3, and the leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. The ratio is 3 over 1, which equals 3. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x squared plus 9 equals 0. Subtract 9 from both sides of the equation.
square root both sides to get x equals the square root of negative 9. The square root of a negative number is undefined. There are no vertical asymptotes. Now graph the rational function using technology. The horizontal asymptote we predicted exists on the graph. In part d, we'll graph y equals 3x squared minus 3x minus 18 over x squared minus x minus 6. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we'll use the formula y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. The leading coefficient of the numerator is 3, and the leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. The ratio is 3 over 1, which equals 3. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Factor the trinomial. The roots of the equation are negative 2 and 3. There should be vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 3. Now graph the rational function using technology. The graph is a horizontal line that cuts through the vertical asymptotes. We can understand why this happens if we factor and simplify the rational expression. Identical factors cancel, leaving us with just 3. There is information lost when identical factors are cancelled. All the graph knows is that its equation is y equals 3. It has no knowledge of the non-permissible values. However, we know for a fact that negative 2 and 3 are non-permissible values. We can indicate this on the graph by drawing holes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 3.